Okay, you'll win a prize if you can spot the common trend in this next clip. All right, Windows 11 laptops. Intel, 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 so yeah, that is the local curry store. And yes, Intel, Intel everywhere with a couple of AMDs mixed in there as well. Now I've just come back from the Snapdragon Summit in Hawaii. First of all, aloha, and welcome to Snapdragon Summit 2023. To the nearly 400 of you here in the room, and to the millions watching online from around the world, thank you so much for uh, Obviously Snapdragon have announced the Snapdragon X Elite platform. Now obviously Intel do still have the market share of like the desktop PCs, obviously still the laptops as well, but I do really think that next year Snapdragon will hold a massive chunk of laptops. So it's not just to be Intel with a little bit of AMD, I think it's gonna be Intel, Snapdragon with a bit of AMD in the middle as well. Because what they announced at the Snapdragon Summit with the X Elite is absolutely insane, even beating the M.2. And recently, the M3 was announced by Apple. And there's been some figures flying about that even like the M3, like the base M3 and the M3 Pro are still slower than the X Elite. Now, just to confirm these results, I've just gone to windowscentral.com. Thank you very much for the information. They've wrote a little bit about this as well, about the Snapdragon X Elite and the, obviously the M3 announcement. Uh, basically, the short version is that the Snapdragon X Elite is still winning over the M3, albeit in all these early numbers. It loses out ever so slightly in single core, but even the 23 watt Snapdragon X Elite scores around 2,300 higher in multi-core performance. So, yeah, really, really exciting. What you gotta remember as well, the Snapdragon X Elite, um, it's first gen. It's, do you know what I mean? It's just been born, it's just been announced. M3, I mean, they've had M1, M2, and now M3, the third generation. So in a couple of years, once the Snapdragon X Elite series and stuff sort of you know, settles and matures and gets better, it's just gonna be so exciting. Now remember, the Snapdragon X Elite is based off the Orion CPU. Now the mastermind behind the Orion CPU is Gerard Williams. Uh, so you have to have a massive thanks to Gerard Williams and obviously the whole team at Qualcomm. So this is really exciting times for the Windows laptop platforms. And as Cristiano said, There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> the Orion CPU is the new leader in mobile computing, period. It's been designed. <laughs> And Cristiano shared some fantastic stats. So if you look at this one, the uh, Qualcomm Orion, obviously the Snapdragon X Elite, single threaded performance, 3,227, compared to the M2 Max, 2,841. And you also need to bear in mind as well, that is using 30% less power. Now, obviously I said Intel, uh, Intel dying, ugh, Intel dead, you see all the, the thumbnail with the Intel on the grave, you know, gravestone. Obviously Intel are not gonna die. Um, they're gonna be around forever and ever. But in terms of the laptop space, I think their hold is gonna shrink dramatically. And this is another comparison, single threaded CPU performance, Qualcomm Rhine 3227, compared to the i9 13980HX, which is 3192. And that is using 70% less power. Now, just to rub salt in the wounds here, look, look at this graph. 
outdoing the i7-1360P, which is 12 core, and the i7-1355U, which is a 10 core CPU. And another one here, beating the i7-13800H, which, which is 14 core, 60% faster CPU performance with 65% less power. It's so exciting. I can't wait to get my hands on an X Elite laptop and finally do some sort of video editing on a laptop instead of a massive desktop PC all the time, have that portability and hopefully the performance to nail it. Now that for me was the biggest news at the Snapdragon Summit, the Snapdragon X Elite, but there was also other news as well, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and all this on-device AI, this stable diffusion, which is going to be fantastic, like under like a second or two to produce an image from some prompts. Also image expansion as well, so if you've quite cropped in a shot, you can just expand it with AI. Obviously the new Snapdragon sound chips as well, the S7 Pro for example, spatial audio, super low latency, potentially the end of wide headphones. It was just an incredible and exciting Snapdragon Summit with, with groundbreaking announcements. Um, yeah, I can't wait for what we have in store over the next year. I want to thank you all very much for watching and a massive thanks to Qualcomm Snapdragon for inviting me out to Snapdragon Summit. It was truly incredible. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. 3,227 compared to the M2 Max. Fuck off.